and welcome to the CIS 4607 podcast. We are all new as of this year. Yeah. So I'm Kira. Uh, this is my first year, obviously, just like Annika said. And I'm a junior. I'm Annika. I registered fully as for the, like today's my first day, but I kind of started last week. Um, I'm in media marketing. I'm Kaylee. I'm also in media marketing as well as business and it's my first year, obviously. What department in like scares you the most? Build. Build. <laughs> I have to agree. <laughs> like, they're so tall. <laughs> you have to look up to see all of them. It's kind of hard. Yeah. Besides that, they just kind of live in the shop. Like, they do. They, they really do. They don't come the out. They're in, the, the they're in their starts. own habitat. <sighs> Good luck getting any of them out of there. Them and their Mountain Dew. It's just kind of... <laughs> that, yeah. yeah like, it's an addiction. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do for team bonding? Ooh. We do a lot of stuff together. Like, I know I did a... F- I just did one bonfire this summer. I had never met, like, most of the team before, but I went anyways, and it was a lot of fun. I haven't really been to any outside team building things, but even just, like, stopping for dinner after off-season events. Yeah, been- that's, that's yeah. really... It's been a lot. <laughs> Our producer says we don't talk about those. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's been a little rough. <laughs> What's your guys' favorite moment so far of this season? Oh, geez, there's a lot. It's been, like, it's hard to pick just one moment because I've been here since basically, <laughs> like, the beginning of October. Good point. So, my favorite part so far about the season, even though I've only been here like a week, is the tiny weird conversation to be have during when we're supposed to be working and when we're not working. Like, today's conversation for one of our hangouts and team bonding parties is dressing the guys up like Disney princesses and the girls dress as Disney princes. Mm-hmm. We've been around and we are trying to figure out who would be what princess we have a pair of twins on our team that we're thinking Anna and Elsa. Yep. And it's like it's just like really fun being able to have those like really weird conversations. Like our producer Cam, we're thinking he could be Belle because he reminds us of Belle. Is <laughs> he staring at us angrily from the floor? Some yeah. may be more willing to do this than others, and I think <laughs> our producer is not one of those people. <laughs> no. Not at all. <laughs> we have this ninth grader on our team who we call Boy. And we were thinking he would be good as Ariel, possibly because he gets distracted by little things. So we think he'd like the little dingle hopper slash fork because that would be anything found in the shop. Yeah. Especially yeah, to do game pieces to the game we're playing. Or he could be Olaf because he follows one of the twins around a lot. Like he kind of has that energy too. Like, he, like, he, he would be easily the one, if he got impaled in the shop, be like, Oh my god, I've got impaled! I thought the build boys playing volleyball with one of the cubes the other day. I'm honestly not surprised. <laughs> I, I can see them doing that. Yeah. I had one served at my face the other day by boy. Of course. And there are some people who were not happy about that one. <laughs> Boy could play Vanellope too. They're just kind of short. Yeah. Off yes. The walls. Glitchy. Yeah. Spazzy. Mm-hmm. He's a little bit spazzy. ADHD. Aren't we all? <laughs> we might have smarts, but it comes in with his downsides as well. You really think we have those smarts? It comes in small doses. Maybe not us three. <laughs> <laughs> there's a few brain cells floating around. Yeah. There's a reason we're not on build. <laughs> hey. I think we ran to Walmart today to get candy. It wasn't even Walmart. We switched to five below. Yeah, we are broke. Yeah. So what's the hardest part so far about the season for you guys? I think it's just being here, like, on long nights and realizing I still have homework to do. But I just don't want to go home because I'm having fun here. Yeah. You can't leave. Yeah, I think it's just been adapting, trying to fit my incredibly busy social schedule around <laughs> robotics. <laughs> yeah. Because it's, like, not all of them are in the <laughs> For me, it's definitely time management and figuring out, okay, I have to work this day. I have other sports and activities this day. Okay, I also have homework. Mm-hmm. Shoot, I have to figure out, okay, I'm going to be gone these days for school. I'm going to get that work done. It's definitely 
time management, I feel like for everyone on the team is something that's like a high priority and like yeah. trying to figure out how to work with that. But some people are better than others. And then there's some people who love to procrastinate everything, yeah. completely everything. There's also some people on our team that do have jobs and try and fit that schedule in. There's other people that yeah. just don't. And I'm like, I can't do a job at the same time. Yeah. And then there's also our team members who I got to give them credit. Do CIS, AP, or PSEO, yeah. which for those who don't know are college classes, on top of holding a job and doing robotics and possibly being in other sports or other activities like NHS. Those people, yeah. round of applause. <laughs> yeah, they're... I could not. <laughs> uh-uh. It's definitely a lot. Even, like, pet bands, which I know band oh, and robotics yeah. is kind of one and the same on this team, but... Yeah, because we have so many people who are in band who are also in robotics or yeah. in robotics who are also in band. It's like... It's weird how many people like you see now once like you go once you're in robotics who are in so many other things with you and you end up like when you're supposed to be doing other things talking about robotics like in band class I know I talk about robotics and like in other classes I talk about robotics and it yeah. can, won't even be to our robotics kid it will be talking robotics and yeah. teachers will ask us about it all mm-hmm. the time like our one of our math teachers loves asking us about it and then he goes you guys are there until eight. Yeah, <laughs> the same thing happened with our history teacher the other day. Cause oh yeah, she had no idea we no. were here from dawn to dusk. Like it's dark yeah. to dark, especially like if we could season. sleep here, we would. Oh yeah, I, I, people have definitely tried. I don't think we're legally allowed to do that. Uh, yeah, I don't think so either. What's one thing you guys are gonna bring to robotics regionals down the world state? Anything? It's kickoffs? Um, Saturday build days? What's one thing you guys are gonna bring with you? I know Mountain Dew's already on the list, so don't say that. <laughs> it needs to be on the list. We go through so much Mountain Dew. Oh, oh it's insane. At least it's not Monsters, Bangs, Rains, no, Rebels. There's a lot of those going around. They, that's, 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 still all is. Okay, that's but all at least Leah. Mountain Dew has like 34 milligrams of caffeine and not like in the hundreds. Yeah. We There's a running joke right now that there's certain team members by how much caffeine or other things they eat during build season, they're just going to fall on the ground with diabetes or something. <laughs> Drop dead at age 24. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, most of us are first aid trained, so I think we're fine. Can I well, think our we're safety fine? lead has an unhealthy addiction to <laughs> Yeah. So. <laughs> Let's talk about that. So, back to the topic. What's one thing you guys are going to bring with you? Sweatshirts, because I get incredibly cold. I do too. I made this four yard long blanket the other night that is going with me everywhere. And I've had more people use it than I have used it so far. I mean, the blanket's just so big and nice. And it it's is. Like there's a reason- flannel on the backside, so it's warm. Yeah. And there's a reason I made it four yards long, is so that way we can have, like, three or four people under it. Exactly. Yeah. It. It's, it's genius. perfect. We can also save a lot of bleacher space with it. We can. That is a we can. really fair point there. And, I mean, you're sitting on the bleachers at off-season events and mm. regionals oh, yeah. and everything. So and it's, like, all day. Until yeah. All the time. Okay, so one of my favorite moments that actually happened today is Michael, one of our people on Build and Electricity, wrapped himself in the blanket and he wrapped himself around it like four times oh, and when I said I was cold he was gonna give it back to me he could not get out of it <laughs> because he was so wrapped up in it we also have a picture because he pulled it over his head and he looked like an old man just sitting in like a chair about to tell stories and we were all making jokes about it and he starts using this old man voice and was like I tell you kids this is the robotics team and this is what we do it was so funny What's one thing you guys are gonna work on this year, like to help improve the team or like implement in your own life that improves what you do? I think for me, I'm really interested in like business right now as well as helping out media marketing because we do have two seniors on the team. Yeah. So after yeah. this year, they're gonna be kind of it's gonna be yeah, <sighs> it's gonna be hard because we definitely need younger team yeah. members to start stepping up and learning new things. Is what how many? Seniors, do we have on chairmans right now? I believe we have three. I think three. And what's the percentage of other people that are not seniors? I think there's only one or two other people. Well, we have Cora and Sophia and uh, so yeah, three. Yeah, three. So it's about even. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's one thing you're going to do to take from the team to help improve your life or something you want to implement to help improve? Um, I think just like the ability to help try and keep us on task, because we can definitely get off task oh. pretty easily. Yeah. 
We're yeah. we're definitely no help yeah, to no, that. No, no, no. <laughs> but we can try our best to put us back on track. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. That was CIS podcasting. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to our sponsors, mentors, coaches, and team members. Also, parents. We love you guys. Thank you so much. You make this possible. See you guys later. Goodbye.